And when President Biden visited Massachusetts today, some fellow Democrats were ready to greet him. But what caught WBZ's John Keller's attention was who was not part of the welcome party. Senators Warren and Markey were with the president when he arrived. Bill Keating, congressman. And other local polls made the scene in Somerset as well. But presumptive Democratic gubernatorial nominee Maura Healy wasn't one of them. And with Biden's approval ratings scraping rock bottom, it's not unusual for members of his own party to skip a photo op with him these days. It's happening in Ohio, in Georgia, and even right here in the nation's bluest corner. I'm taking on members of my own party to push a gas tax holiday, and I'm pushing Joe Biden to release more of our oil reserves. We showed you back in May how New Hampshire incumbent Senator Maggie Hassan was distancing herself from Biden, and I'm now she's at it again with a new TV ad that's about as nonpartisan as you can get. Now ranked the most bipartisan senator, Hassan works with Republicans to cut wasteful spending and was one of only two Democrats who refuse to propose earmarks. But while Biden may be slumping, his party is showing signs of life. The latest CNN poll of party preference for Congress finds a dead heat, a seven-point gain for the Democrats since their last survey in May. What closed that gap? There's been a six-point swing toward the Democrats and away from the GOP among people of color, a nine-point swing among women, and a stunning 27-point swing among voters age 65 or over, a traditionally reliable voting group. And Senator Hassan just had her all-time biggest fundraising quarter. Okay, John, so we just saw some of those numbers. What are driving them? Well, Lisa, several things. Recent controversial Supreme Court rulings on guns and abortion really seem to be rallying parts of the Democratic base uh, behind the party. Uh, the voters' sour mood seems to be directed as much at Republicans as Democrats. Their approval is very low. And it does seem the more Donald Trump is in the news, the better it is for Democrats. His approval ratings are hardly much better than Biden's these days. A lot of things coming together for now, but anything can and will happen. Paula? That we know. John, thanks.